So today I want to talk about the perfect size for multi-species fishing. And there they are, the perfect lures for multi-species fishing. More specifically, the perfect size. So I will tell you that this little guy here I've had tremendous luck with. This is the net bait, tiny pack of craw, three inch in green pumpkin. Also have summer craw, black and blue. But this three inch version is absolute dynamite. I've used other ones, they've, but I've never had one that worked as good as this. I believe it's because of the movement. These pinchers are just absolutely perfect in their movement. It's a perfect jig trailer, which really is what this thing is meant for, but I just fish them with this guy right here. That right there, I believe, is the perfect 1 8 ounce finesse jig head. It's by Eagle Claw. It's called their finesse jig head. I love the bend in the hook. I love the bait keeper there. And I just love everything about it. But something like that will fit perfect with this net bait pack of craw. It'll fit perfect with Berkeley Power Grub. Also fit perfect with this Kitek Custom Worm Easy Shiner 3 inch. So that same exact jig head will work for all these. So I feel like that's the perfect size, that three inch tiny pack of craw. When it comes to worms, I like the Yum Dingers. And here I've got four different colors. I've got the green pumpkin, got the bubblegum yellow swirl, watermelon with gold flake, and black and blue. Here is that four inch yum dinger, which all these are four inch. When I'm multi-species fishing, I choose the four inch. It is really good, and it's a good all around, which is what you're gonna notice with all of these. They're good for bass, but they're also good for a large rock bass, a large green sunfish, something like that. I've actually caught a little sun perch on this big worm before, so you just never know. That's a great size. When it comes to a top water soft plastic, I love these Z-Man Finesse Frogs with a Z at the end, Frog Z. This, I can't think of the name offhand. I think it's like bone or something like that, or watermelon bone or something. But I also have a chartreuse here and a black and blue. Of course, you can rig it weedless like this. You can rig it with an exposed hook. The way I like to use these is with a really light hook because these float. And they're really good to twitch on the water and fish just gobble them up. I've caught big green sunfish on them. I've caught several bass. These are the perfect size. It's this right here, this Frog Z, this Z-Man. It comes to that easy shiner there. I love these three inches. I've caught a lot of fish on the two inch. You can see here I have this chartreuse back pearl this uh, black and blue with green pumpkin, black and blue flake green pumpkin, and then this silver flash minnow. These are dynamite little swim baits. I mean dynamite. And then I have an alternative here. I've probably caught more fish on grubs than everything here combined. That's kind of what I started on. But the Berkeley Power Grub, that's the pumpkin seed color. Right here, also have the straight black, straight white, but that's also in the three inch variety. So, Berkeley Power Grub, three inch. 
Net bait, tiny pack of craw, three inch. Yum dinger, four inch. Finesse frog Z. It's really what they call a 2.75 inch. Phenomenal. Now, as far as terminal tackle, once again, that awesome jig head right there. Eagle claw, one eighth finesse jig heads, fantastic. And then of course, if you're gonna go weedless, you're, you're gonna want some kind of two watt hook like this, which would be the same for this, something like that. Or just a straight shank hook like that. But you would not believe, like if, if you told me, you know, you can just have a handful of lures the rest of your life, I'd probably p pick what you see there. Now, none of these lures, I would say are ultra realistic. They're all pretty well made to move or to be on the move, except for the um, dinger, it's made to sink very slowly. But if I do want to go really, really slow, then you would prefer a more ultra realistic lure, which is where something like a Nico Helgermite, a Nico Leech, which I fish kind of in a Ned style, or one of their Nico Craws will, will work as well. It is slightly bigger than that tiny pack of craw. You might not get as many smaller fish, but if you're going for bass, it's, it's phenomenal. So besides a few of the Nico specialty baits, that size right there is excellent for multi-species fishing. So if you've just got one pole, very small bag of lures, and you're gonna go bank fishing, pond hopping, wade fishing, whatever the case. And you're, you kind of want to catch multi-species. You don't want to just get the little tiny baits and catch a million little fish, but you don't want to catch, bring lures so big you're only gonna catch big bass. Lures like this are the perfect multi-species fishing lure. Until next time, take care. Bye, bye.